Hello everybody and welcome back. You're watching the Mortal Kombat X Pro League Season 3 Finals presented by PS4. Now, we're going into our lower bracket action, which is going to be Scar versus Raptor. Now, yes, it's, it's stuck in... Oh, sorry. I didn't oh, you, to, you continue. To, we were going to say the same thing. To rudely butt in, but I do believe our uh, winners top four at the moment that are still left are going to be a bit of a reminiscent of uh, the weekly Pro Leagues. We're going to have Scar versus Red Raptor, and obviously Dragon versus Sonic Fox. Now, we've seen these guys go at it over and over and over and over again, but this is, if anything, a tournament where anything can happen. Obviously, uh, we've had some major upsets. We've had some players uh, do really, really well. That came in quite not confident. Some, you know, some basically just generally some really, really good gameplay, and it's unpredictable. Like, for example, Scar and Dragon. I can't remember the last time Dragon beat Scar, but this time he managed to not only beat Scar, but do it when he was 2-0 down three games in a row. Now, uh, going into this section, everyone here is in the money. The question lies now of who's going to move on to try and get a little bit more than they currently have. Little bit is probably not the right word to use. You could say that. So it's going to be Shirayu and wow. Demolition. I mean, we've seen this matchup so many times. But the reality is, Takeda has really good uh, limbs, a good way to kind of deal with that neutral of Sonya. However, when she picks the Demolition variation, she kind of gets that added reach to contest with what Shirayu wants to do. There's the dive kick again. You I never mean, see that trade ever. That seems to be Scar's kind of go-to whiff punisher, go-to sort of just 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 space occupying. It's just the dive kick. The threat of the dive kick to establish it, and just like this, he's got the corner already. Now you, oh, you, you can absolutely guarantee that Scar is going. Oh wow! Kicked right in the face. How about that? Round number one, going to PG Scar. He is hungry to get into that grand finals. He got second last time, and the only way to improve on that performance is to get first. There is no other room, and he's a couple of sets away from being able to do it. This could be Scar's season, but Raptor's here to say no. I mean, Raptor's having an amazing season himself. Season three, just just sure are you mastermind at the moment. And what a combo! How much is that? Oh, he still ended it in the splat to guarantee the reload. Fantastic optimization of his combos. The bone kunai pressure. NJP Scar's not biting. He's just sitting there patient. Gonna block this all day. Who jumps in, goes for the empty jump just to avoid any potential trip guard attempts. Gonna go in. He's got another grenade. He has got to reload though to get anything back. Oh wow, Raptor really smart just to avoid that, but no meter, severely down on life. This comeback's going to be quite difficult. Yeah, especially, yeah, it's, you very rarely see Takeda make comebacks with no bar, and just like that, Scar, very clean and convincing game number one. Well, what does Red Raptor do here? Because he's clearly not playing badly. I think it's, it's just, just he's getting tagged. It's, it's, it's the grenades are doing the bulk of the work. But that, that, that's the thing, when you fight against Demolition, I mean, it's that, that's what it comes down to. How are you going to try and handle uh, the way the grenades work? We've said this before earlier on, but just to remind everyone, uh, the mix-up of Demolition, it's beyond the 50-50, as some would say, more than a 50-50. You block the initial 50-50, and then it's still a mix-up of when the uh, Sonya player is going to detonate those grenades. Go for the destroyed city. Now, I mean, we see a lot of stages make a Did big difference. Did you guys notice that what? he was hovering over other variations and then picture right? Do you think he's thinking about variation change? Possibly. I mean, Red Raptor has kind of... He's been known as a, uh, as a Shira Ryu player at this point, but there's always the chance if he just doesn't think it's going to work. Well, that could have been a clean NJP, but he's going to go in uh, for the dive kick instead just to get out of there. Still going to secure the first hit. And again, I think robbing the first hit of Decade is very important because of just how dangerous Shira Ryu is with two bars immediately. There's the hard knockdown, goes to the reload. Yes, he does. Ooh, and delay. he delays it into the grenade. I mean, that, that's respect, right? When you know that an NJP will guarantee some sort of pressure, just throwing the grenade by itself. But that's what makes it so dangerous. It, 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 it's more than the fact that she has the 50-50s available. It's the fact that, you know, you can throw the grenade on Meaty and the grenade you can detonate whenever you want. So it's like, do you detonate it as they get up? Do you leave it there so if they try and, you know, go for armor, it beats it? Like, there, there is, as soon as that grenade appears on the screen, there is the instant mind game. And oh, when Scar and he jumps over, you rarely see that grenade wake up attack get dealt with like that. Oh, oh he wow. jumps straight into it, that sucks. Oh, there's the teleport. Scar tries to punish it. Not quite ready. You can definitely see that I think Scar is, is ahead in this matchup. Oh, and he tags him with a 50 50 Raptor, has to break. And again, he's got no stamina and no bar. Pulling back is going to be quite difficult, but you can still tag him. Oh, speaking of getting tagged, he's going to get tagged once again by the grenades. Two more grenades, good to go. He's going to spend all three, get the knockdown, or is he just going to opt to spend the bar? He has got one left. Doesn't even go for the reload. He wants to get some pressure. Goes oh, the grenade, and that's going to kill him. That's death right there. Two games 
And I mean, we said this before, Scar wants this grand final spot. And he's going to try to destroy anyone that stops him. But he's doing a good job of it so far. I mean, he seems to be just defeating Raptor in the neutral. Like, as soon as the grenade's out, as soon as he's got the option to throw them, that's where he's getting most of his damage. And just reads like that, like, just, just straight up arc kicks. Just, it might have looked risky and not too much damage, but look at where they are on the screen. Raptor's, like, one touch away from being cornered already. And we'll see if he can end it here. No, I'll just go for the reload. Just try and inch his way there. Just a little bit, uh, piece by piece. Well, that's one of the things you, go. you are going to do as a demolition player, I think, is kind of just judge. Do I want to try and get max damage, or am I going to prioritize getting the safe reload? Because it's the grenades that's going to give you a problem. But it's also the grenades that's going to help you in that neutral. And just like that, pushing him into the corner. And uh, even the trade sent Raptor sufficiently far enough to allow Scar to reload. But it's a nice 16% damage. It gives him a reload. So why not? It's, it's working out for him. I mean, Scar's been trading with that wake up all day. And he, he keeps doing it. It's clearly working out for him. And again, Raptor with his back to the corner. Has a breaker, though, so he can afford to get hit if he needs to. But no, he managed to get the teleport out of the corner. And he's, uh, yeah, he's snuck just out of range of the hitbox. Oh, no, but he's going to jump straight into that one, having to spend two of his bars, uh, the forward dash, just to go into the jump. Really smartly played there from Scar. Scar still in this. One more touch is going to take the round, but here we go. Nice teleport. Oh, there we go. Raptor finally manages to get a good chance to just open him up and get some nice damage. It takes a round. Fight. Problem is, if you have to use all of your bars to do it, then when you're left with nothing, then you're you're kind of uh, a lot weaker than you might normally be, and especially if Scar's going to get the 50-50 uh, again to start this round off. Oh, and there we go, getting more damage, just working that reload into his combos now. I mean, that that, that is optimized on you at this point. Oh, Raptor goes for the anti cross up down one, mistimes it and gets jumped in on. Scar is making him pay for that mistake, forced to break. Oh, throws a far kunai. Oh, the jump in whips, that could have been absolutely costly. He's going to go in again, has to establish some sort of pressure, but with no bar, it's going to be hard to get max damage. Scar gets the clean jump in. That should be the round. Oh it's no, just, on the next hit, didn't have the grenade stopped. It's just Scar opting to go for a, a lot of jump backs at ranges where the jump back will keep him safe from the back two. And he's just, he's reacting to anything he knows that I kick will punish. You can tell Scar has fought Takeda once or twice before. Just that clean jump back on anticipation of the 2-4 part of that forward 1-2 string. Just to go right out of the way and then obviously catch Takeda when he's recovering on width. Because I mean, he's one of those long recovering characters when those strings fail to connect. But he's a character that you get like, everyone needs to be ready for in season three. Because he's been such a prominent character. Oh, All these Takeda players have just, they've come out of the woodwork and, and shown why he's so powerful. And Red Raptor's kind of been, uh, the, the, you know, manning the reins of the fourth. Oh. Flying on him, and how many grenades is he going to do with that six in one combo? Oh, here comes more grenades. Clean. 3 0. Scar moving on, taking out Raptor. I mean, how many grenades is that in a sequence? I mean, that, what, was a six grenade combo into, like, meter burn grenade? I think he's just emptied the armory. I don't see there being any more left after that. I mean, I kind of lost count, and then he meter burned it. So, greedy. greedy Demolition variation. I think there were, that was an accurate name right there. So. That was uh, very, very convincing. I think Raptor, he did mention that uh, now he's in top 8, he feels more comfortable. His goal ultimately was top 8 because you get in the cash when you make that spot. Uh, I think he would have liked to get further, but I mean, he had a hell of a performance right here. There is no doubt that Raptor is the Takeda. Like, he is the strongest Takeda, uh, the highest consistently placing Takeda. Took out Sonic Fox at Combo Breaker. I mean, this guy's got talent. This guy's got some insane talent. Let's talk about this for a second. Scar just secured himself third place minimum. Third place gets $30,000. Um, that's quite a chunk of change for an afternoon of playing Mortal Kombat. That's uh, nothing to shake a stick at, I think some people have said in the past. Uh, but I mean, it's it, it's kind of the results that, that a lot of people were expecting, right? A lot of people expected, you know, Sonic Fox, Dragon, Foxy, the, all these guys to be on the higher end of the bracket. I mean, we just saw Sonic Fox fight uh, Foxy and send him out. Um, this is going to be an interesting match. Hayate versus Foxy Grandpa.